Hi. Welcome guys today to Gentle Flow. Today we're going to do a mixture of a little more um, Asian style of movements taken from Tai Chi and Qigong along mixed with our gentle Hatha flow today. I encourage you to go ahead and get a strap for our stretching towards the end of the class. Maybe have a towel to go under your knee. Come to a comfortable position in child pose as we start. Take some deep breaths. I'm going to start with a quote. Worry is a thin stream of fear trickling through the mind. If encouraged, it cuts a channel into which all thoughts are drained. So any extra worry in the mind, don't encourage that. Take some deep, calm breaths. With each exhale, using your ujjayi breath, slightly audible. Instead, encourage calm breath. Replace any unnecessary worry in the mind. And 
two more. Being aware of the breath. Gently pressing the hip a little lower, dropping the shoulders. Good. And then opening up the arm on the same side of the leg that's open. Adjusting the front leg so that knee stays on top of the ankle. Front palm up, stretch back.
Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, let it go, guys. Good. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, hands in prayer. Wonderful. We're going to add on our Qigong arms next. Take a deep breath into Dasana. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, part way. Exhale, let it go. Come to your down dog. Taking time to push away and open to that lengthening. As you exhale, reach your leg forward. Come to your warrior two. Gently pressing the back heel and pinky toe down. Dropping the shoulders, reaching out with the fingers. Feeling open and calm. Coming from here to our warrior one. Taking your palms towards you and up, inhale. Exhale, push forward. Inhale, straighten the front leg if you like, but don't lock it, a little bend in the knee. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale. Warrior two. Front palm up, reverse warrior. Reach. Shoulders relax. Knee aims forward. If you like, wrap the arm around the back, but make sure you draw up and in to the core. Exhale, lower. And a couple steps, walking here. Good. And exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Take a break here. Go ahead and reach for your elbows and just sway side to side, releasing. Let's go right into our down dog, guys. You're doing awesome. Feels good to really push away, spread the fingers out. Lift the hips and tailbone. And bring the other leg forward. Come to your warrior two. And then changing that to our warrior one. Angle that back foot at a 45 degree angle. Knee coming forward. Palms facing each other. Here we go. Palms up. Inhale. And exhale. Really rooting down that back. Pinky toe, that foot. Good. Come back to warrior two. Front palm up. Reverse warrior. Very simple. 
simple, just adding some movement of the arms. Think about the energy when you do that. You're drawing in hope and pushing away tension and worry. We're gonna move on and just take your legs out. In your Prasarita Padatanasana, wide leg stance. Just bend a leg. You can push your hands on that foot, I mean that thigh. And other side. That's your first option. Feels great. Good stretch. Next option. We go to the side. And please make sure that you're not leaning forward too much. We want to gently lift up the core and sit just a little bit straighter, engaging the front. And we're just going to leave the side and then reach in the arms. Spread the fingers out, pressing down that extended leg, heel and pinky toe. You got to make sure you keep that stable. And then coming back and trying the other side or put the hands on the thigh. Next, the arms swirl down and open. Take time to reach the fingers, swirl down and open. And then if you like, add a little more release, which always feels good. Go ahead and swirl down and open. Push that side foot down, draw up in the core, exhale, inhale, good. Go ahead, release face down, just let it go, reach for your elbows, toes facing forward, and just hang out, guys. Heel toe, heel toe. We're going to put that all together at any point. Instead of doing your down dog, you can go into your child pose. Okay? Here we go. At the front of the mat, into the asana or mountain. Take a deep breath, guys. Inhale, open the heart. Ah, exhale, melt down, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Dart the head forward, good. Exhale, melt. Take one leg back. Now we're gonna go right to your warrior one here. Change the arms, draw in. And exhale, extend, push away. Inhale, palms towards you. Exhale, extend away. One more. Feel that stretch in that back leg. And then take that arm out to your beer madras in the B warrior two. Front palm up, reach, reverse warrior. Melt the shoulders. Bend that knee, reach the fingers up. Wrap that back arm around if you like. Good. Now facing towards me, we're going to take the feet wide, melt down to the ground in your prostrate Padatanasana, toes facing forward to protect the knees. And just hands on the ground or blocks, we add three breaths. So we exhale, lower the head. Inhale, lengthen forward. Nice. Just two more like that. Nice. Go ahead, bend the knees, feet turned out, and come to one side, hand on the thigh. And other side. Good stretch. And if you like, 
Change the arms. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Good. Now we face the other side. Are you following me? Good. Step that leg forward. Lift the arms up. Inhale. Open that heart. Exhale. Forward fold. Ah. Inhale. Part way. Keep that spine long. Exhale. Let it go. Take your leg forward again, facing the front. Turn the feet out, hands on your thighs, bend your knees, take a little stretch. Dip a shoulder, exhale. And other side. Do a few of those at your own pace, using exhales to press down. Use your hands to push away the legs to open the inner thighs. Good. Facing back to our beginning side of the mat. Let's do the other side, guys. You're doing great. Inhale, Urdhvastasana, hands to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Nice, guys. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, lengthen. Exhale, melt. Ah, good stretch. And then stepping the other way back, what you didn't do yet, come into your warrior one. And we add our arms, palms up towards you. Inhale, front leg, if you do straighten it, do not lock it. Little micro bend to protect the knee. And exhale. Now think about in your heart what you want to inhale, bring in. What you want to exhale. Oh my gosh. Release. Wonderful. Warrior two, Virabhadrasana the beat. Reach a little bit more with the fingers. Reverse warrior. Arm can wrap if you like. And then we face the other way. So I'm going to turn around and face this way. So pretend I'm facing the other way. And then we go into our lunge. How we doing? You guys okay? Make sure you sit back in this lunge. Make sure you have your weight on your heels. If you can wiggle your toes, that's good. If you can engage your core and sit up just a little bit more, that's safer. And then variation for the arms. But it's your yoga practice. Do what feels good to you.
to the other side, coming to your down dog. At home, Mukha Shavasana, you're doing great. Hopefully you're feeling really good. And coming to your child or any pose that's calm for you. today was worry is a thin stream of fear trickling through the mind if encouraged it cuts a channel into which all other thoughts are drained so don't let it take over I know days can be difficult but thoughts are even worse. Take some calm breaths wherever you are. Breathe into the chest, breathe into the belly. Encourage the calm breath. Don't encourage any unhealthy thoughts of worry. If the thoughts are too loud in your mind, take deeper, fuller breaths. That is what the Ujjayi breath is about. Making your breath a little audible by just gently constricting the back of the throat. So when you exhale, it's kind of like you're fogging a mirror, like an ocean sound to distract the mind from unnecessary things here.
Go ahead, take your legs to diamond. Reach the arms up, inhale. Exhale, hands in prayer. Do that two more times, inhale.
one more time. Legs to diamond. Come down, inhale, extend. And exhale, draw it in. Ananda Velasana, happy baby. Take it out more if you like. Good. Back to diamond. Extend it out. Good. Draw one knee in, take it across to Thara Parimartanasana. Reach that extended arm up. Circle forward, exhale, inhale, reach up. Now if you like, you extend that leg that's bent here, forward, reach, bend, and reach up. That encourages some more lengthening in the back. As I reach forward, I'm opening the back shoulder, opening the vertebrae, and then return to that twist. Wonderful. Go ahead, release. Draw the knees and rock side to side. We're going to add our strap here, taking one leg up, guys. The other leg can bend on the ground if you need to. Push that heel away, the extended leg. The back of the leg really open and breathing. Huge breaths in the belly. Shoulders a little calm as we hold the strap. Then just bend that knee, put the strap, lengthen that strap, strap on the arch of your foot here, bend both legs, roll over to your open side, extend the arm, reach that strap over your shoulder. Both legs are bent. And you have that thigh stretch. The bottom leg is bent to anchor you too. And rest your hand. If you like, extend and reach the leg forward. And then bend, reach back. Next option, you have extempies to the side and up, and then back, and up to the side, and back. Let's do one more. Roll 
your back here. Take the arches of both feet in here. Draw in, bend the knees. Modify halasana. Lower back feels good. Wonderful job. And then other leg. Remember, you can always bend that knee if you like. Inhale, heel pushes away. Exhale, calm the eyebrows, calm the upper lip, the jaw, the shoulders. Take a deeper inhale in the belly. Ah. Okay, lengthen that strap, bend both legs, and extend the other arm, reach back,
Just draw the knees in. Let's carefully come up to the Sukhasana or easy pose. Take the hands in prayer. We're going to go ahead and take your hands into a yoga ohm. And if you like, place them like this towards your center. Relax the shoulders. Feel the fingers touching. Feel the openness of the palms. Feel the extension of the fingers. Reaching out, opening energy, but staying centered and connected. Never forgetting to come back to the center. So as you inhale, feel the openness in the fingers and palms. Exhale, come back to the connection in center. Place one hand on the heart, one on the belly. Your heart your soul make up who you are yoga is not just about stretching through yoga we become more humble more compassionate and more understanding to yourself Hands in prayer. From my heart to yours, namaste.